coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. An FAA scandal could result in hundreds of mandatory pilot retests. The commemorative Air Force's FM2 Wildcat will participate in a VJ Day flyover. And the Gulfstream's G700 flight test program is continuing to make progress. I'm Sophie Herlock. Several hundred pilots will have to be retested for check rides, some of which may have been taken over the course of 11 years, due to unspecified issues found by the FAA concerning pilot examiner Michael A. Puehler. In a notice posted on the 15th, the FAA stated, This notice provides current guidance to FAA aviation safety inspectors on program policies and procedures for re-examining individuals, holding pilot certificates with various ratings who were tested by Michael A. Puehler of Cincinnati, Ohio. The re-examination will ensure that these individuals meet the standards of Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations 14 CFR Part 61 to hold their certificates and or ratings. As a result of an investigation by the FAA of the certification activities of Mr. Puehler. The administrator determined that there is reason to believe that the competency of the airmen examined by Mr. Puehler from the period of October 2008 through December of 2019 is in doubt. As a result of the evidence obtained during the investigation, the FAA determined that these airmen will require re-examination of their competency pursuant with 49 U.S.C. Section 44709 to ensure safety in air commerce. Airmen who renewed their flight instructor certificate or reinstated their flight instructor certificate with Mr. Puehler are also included in this re-examination notice. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the Light Sport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrel is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. We spent days flying and burning fuel and experiencing the new Swift fuel. I'm pretty dang impressed. I mean, to come out with a high octane replacement fuel with no lead, that's a tall order. If they continue to go the way they're going, Swift Fuel will have a replacement fuel of the market. It's better for the environment. It's cleaner on your engine. That's game changer. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. AUVSI Exponential 2020 will now be held as a fully interactive virtual event on October 5th through the 8th. Due to large gatherings and travel restrictions put in place due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the trade show and conference was originally scheduled to be held on May 4th through the 7th at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center and was postponed to October 5th through the 8th at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center in Dallas before being moved to a virtual format. More information on the virtual event, schedule of programming, and registration will be posted in the coming weeks at exponential.org. Between July 24th and 27th, the Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft flew five weather reconnaissance missions into Hurricane Douglas, the season's first hurricane in the Pacific Ocean. Douglas, which peaked as a Category 4 storm on July 24th and began weakening through the day, is expected to continue to do so as it approaches and impacts the Hawaiian Islands until late Monday. The data collected by the air crews can improve hurricane forecasts by anywhere from 15 to 25 percent, as the crews are able to get into the center of the storm and collect ground truth data better than a satellite or weather balloon. Pilot leaders from the FedEx Express unit of ALPA recently passed a resolution calling on their company to suspend operations in Hong Kong due to an unacceptable risk for pilots related to the COVID-19 pandemic. ALPA cites recent incidences where three COVID-19 positive asymptomatic FedEx pilots were forced into mandated hospital facilities for up to 10 days in Hong Kong. Additionally, the association claimed several pilots who had already tested negative for COVID-19 but were in close contact with a COVID-19 positive person were put 
in the government camps under extremely difficult conditions. In a statement, Captain Dave Chase, FedEx Alpha Master Executive Council Chairman said, not only do these situations pose unacceptable risks to our pilots' safety and well-being, but they also create added stress and distraction for flight operations. The FCC has fined Hobby King over $2.8 million for marketing drone transmitters which did not comply with FCC licensing rules. Hobby King markets devices that provide a video link between transmitters mounted on an unmanned aircraft system and users flying drones. An FCC investigation found that dozens of devices marketed by the company transmitted in authorized radio frequency bands and in some cases operated at excessive transmission power levels. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Commemorative Air Force's FM2 Wildcat is set to participate in the upcoming 75th anniversary commemoration of the end of World War II events. Scheduled to take place in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii from August 29th to September 2nd. On Saturday, July 25th, the aircraft and pilot Mike Pauley boarded USS Essex to bring the aircraft from San Diego to Pearl Harbor for the commemoration activities. The Wildcat played a vital role in the Pacific Theater during World War II. The CAF's Wildcat did not see service during the war. However, it is painted in the markings characteristic of American FM-2s from 1943 to 1947. The CAF's Wildcat is one of 19 other World War II-era aircraft slated to participate in the 75th commemoration events honoring the Allied victory of Japan and Hawaii. These aircraft will participate in aerial parades and events around Oahu and the USS Missouri. Gulfstream is reportedly making progress in their G700 flight test program, with a number of accomplishments in testing and performance to boast about. The G700 was introduced in October of 2019 and has already flown more than 100 test flights, recently completing company flutter testing and expanding the flight envelope at both high and low speeds. As part of Gulfstream's testing efforts, the aircraft also flew beyond its maximum operating speed and cruise altitude, reaching Mach 0.99 at an altitude of 54,000 feet. In typical operations, the G700 has a maximum operating speed of Mach 0.925 and a maximum cruise altitude of 51,000 feet. Feet. The G700 is powered by Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines and can fly at its high-speed cruise of Mach 0.9 for 6,400 nautical miles or at its long-range cruise of Mach 0.85 for 7,500 nautical miles. The G700 also includes the Gulfstream Symmetry flight deck with the industry's only electrically linked active control side 6. And that's it for this week everyone. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. To stay up to date on the latest aviation and aerospace news this weekend, head over to aero-news.net. Have a great weekend. I'll see you again on Monday.